Hey everybody, Mark here again from ULC with another quick language video for you. So for today, right, for today, I have students, they often ask me about countable and uncountable nouns, right? Countable and uncountable nouns. So what we're going to do today, very quickly, the brief overview, our three minute, five minute overview of our countable and our uncountable nouns, okay? So whenever we have English words, right? The English nouns, things like the word chocolate, right? If I have the word chocolate, chocolate's a noun, it's a person, a place, a thing. Oh, it's a thing, right? So when I have a word like this, I need to know, to use the correct grammar, whether it can be counted or whether it can't be counted, right? So this is where I have these two words. I have our countable and I have our uncountable. So if you see the un in English, just remember un means not. Un means not. Happy, unhappy, not happy, right? So countable. So you're like, hmm, count? What is count? Well, you count all the time. In, in America, we like to count like this. We like to go, one, two, three, four, five, right? That's how we count. Or when I lived in Japan, they counted like this. I know I might be doing the order wrong, but this is there. One, two, three, four, five. They counted different objects. So for me, I can count here. I have one, two, three, okay? So for this, I'll say three, right? If I want to count. And then I have this word. I have pieces, right? Three pieces of chocolate. Sometimes you'll also hear people say three chocolates, right? That's also okay, right? But what they mean, what they mean when they say that is that there are three pieces, right? Three pieces of chocolate, okay? And then when, our, when we're counting, we often use this S to show the number, right? You know a lot of different countable words, right? Three apples, three students. Here, I'm gonna do cup of water, right? I could do, oh, look, at, look here, I could do for here. If I want to say one, what do I do? When we're using a countable word, we're going to use a. Uh. You'll see that very, very often, right? We have a cup. But how about this, can I say, uh, water? You actually can, but that's only whenever you mean a bottle of water, right? You can say, can I have a water? Can I have a water? What you mean is you want a bottle of water. There's one. And then if I want to make it two, what do I do? I add the S, right? Two bottles of water. So that's how we can make our countable words in English, right? If you have a countable noun in English, you need to use an A, right, for one. Or you can count, you can say one bottle, a bottle, his bottle, right? If I give you some more options, right, like this, a bottle, his bottle, the, if I do the, another article, the bottle, um, one bottle. We need a word there to show that this is our singular, right? It can be an article, it can be a number, but we need that when we are, when we are counting, okay? So then here again, I just have a hamburger, I have a bowl of rice. See, there are some words that do specifically need a helper to be able to count. Because if I say this, if I say a uh, rice, this is not correct in English. We cannot say a rice. Why not? Why not a rice? Hmm? Right? Because this word is only used, right? Only used here with the uncountable. So here, if it's uncountable, I love to use the word some, right? Some, some meat, some rice. And you'll see I have my version over here for all of the things on the left, right? So again, I'm counting here, one, two, three, 
I need to use my uncount. I need to use my countable grammar. A piece, two pieces, three pieces. But over here, can I count? Nope. <laughs> I cannot count. Is it? Is it one, two, three? I actually, I have no idea, right? So we think of this thing as a whole or as one group, right? So if it's as a whole, like this, I'll just say some chocolate. I won't say a. Uh, I won't say two, three, four. I won't count. I'll say some. Same for here. Is there one, two, three, four? No, I cannot count. So I can use a word like some, right? I went into, right? Here's, I saw some water. There's no a uh, water, okay? Same here. A uh, hamburger, hamburger like this. One, two, three. This, I'm not counting. I'll say some meat. So we think of it as a whole. And then last one, some rice, okay? As a whole. So if you want more information about this style of grammar, you can watch our YouTube live um, a version of this if you look on our channel. I hope this helped you. If you have any other questions about using, right, our one, two, three countable and our as a whole, our uncountables, feel free to message below. You can even message me a list of what you think is countable, what you think is uncountable. Um, and I'd love to see uh, how you do with this grammar. Again, for more info, watch the YouTube live. And if you, of course, if you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.